I'll never forget my first time going out cross-dressed, even though it's almost eight years ago now. I had been dressing at home for many, many years and underdressing as often as I could, but I had never been out en femme before. A few weeks earlier, I had joined a local cross-dressing group and had finally plucked up the courage to attend a Tri-S meeting. In my infinite wisdom, I thought it would be a good idea to go out cross-dressed for the first time. I was conservative in my femininity, I wore a blue blouse over some slightly feminine jeans with a bra for my breast forms and just a dash of makeup. With trepidation, I exited my apartment, eager to quickly make the trip down two flights of stairs to my car without being seen. As I stepped foot into the parking lot, my heart raced, and my palms were clammy with nerves. I scanned my surroundings, hoping no one would see me. I was acutely aware of every step and every rustle of clothing as I made my way to my car. But just as I was about to reach my destination, a stranger emerged, and I was confronted by a banner reading the art of cross-dressing. My heart skipped a beat as I realized that my secret outing might not remain so secret after all. The stranger smiled warmly and said, Hey there, are you one of us? We've got a meeting tonight. You're just in time. I was taken aback but managed a nervous smile. It turned out that the universe had its own way of telling me that I wasn't alone in my journey. And so, with newfound courage and a sense of camaraderie, I joined the group, thankful for the unexpected twist that my first outing had taken. I couldn't believe the twist of fate that had brought me face to face with the feminization.us, the art of cross-dressing, banner and this friendly stranger. It was as if the universe was conspiring to tell me that it was time to embrace my true self, even in public. With a mix of excitement and trepidation, I decided to attend the meeting. The group was warm and welcoming, filled with people who shared similar experiences and had their own stories to tell. It was an evening of camaraderie, sharing, and learning. I quickly realized that I had found a supportive community that could help me navigate the complexities of cross-dressing. Over the years, this group became my second family. I attended meetings regularly, gained confidence, and honed my cross-dressing skills. We shared tips on makeup, fashion, and how to carry ourselves with grace and poise. The friendships I forged were genuine and enduring, built on the common bond of self-discovery and self-acceptance. As time went on, I continued to go out and femme, not just to our group meetings but also to public places. Each outing brought new challenges and triumphs, and I grew more comfortable in my own skin. I learned to hold my head high, knowing that I was being true to myself. My first outing, which began with a surge of anxiety in my apartment parking lot, had led me to a path of self-acceptance and a supportive community I could have never imagined. I discovered that cross-dressing wasn't just about clothes and makeup. It was about being authentic, embracing one's true identity, and finding the courage to live openly. Looking back, that day was a turning point in my life. It marked the beginning of a journey filled with both personal growth and beautiful connections. I'll always be grateful for that unexpected encounter with the banner and the stranger who helped me step into a world where I could be my true self, proudly and unapologetically.